In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of the sclera. Starting with a captivating introduction, our video will emphasize the sclera, the eye's protective outer layer. We'll then delve into the sclera's intricate structure, highlighting its unique anatomical characteristics. We will also explore the sclera's crucial relationships with adjacent eye structures, such as the cornea and the optic nerve. Finally, we'll wrap up with a concise summary of key takeaways. The sclera, commonly referred to as the white of the eye, forms the outermost layer of the eyeball. It constitutes the posterior five-sixths of the eye's outer layer, creating a robust protective shield. Characterized by its opacity, the sclera consists of a dense, fibrous tissue, primarily composed of collagen and elastic fibers. This structure is crucial for protecting the delicate internal components of the eye from external harm and maintaining the eyeball's spherical shape. In addition to its protective role, the sclera serves as the attachment site for the extraocular muscles, which are responsible for controlling eye movement. The sclera begins anteriorly at the limbus, the junction where the cornea meets the sclera, and extends posteriorly, terminating at the optic nerve canal at the back of the eye. This comprehensive coverage is indispensable for the overall structural integrity and functionality of the eye, playing a key role in vision and ocular health. The sclera, shaped like a hollow sphere, forms a continuous structure with the cornea at its anterior aspect and extends to the optic nerve canal at its posterior end. Its coloration varies significantly throughout a person's life, typically bluish or bluish-gray in infants, it transforms into a pearly white in adults, and often acquires a yellowish tint in the elderly due to age-related changes. Regarding its dimensions and weight, the sclera is comparatively light, with an average weight of about 1.2 grams. Its diameter typically ranges between 23 to 24 mm, and, and its equatorial circumference measures approximately 77 mm. A noteworthy feature of the sclera is its variable thickness. The thickest region is near the optic nerve, where it reaches around 1 mm, while it is considerably thinner at the sites of extraocular muscle insertion, measuring about 0.3 mm closer to the limbus, the boundary between the sclera and cornea its thickness is approximately 0.8 mm. This variation in thickness is critical for the sclera's dual role in providing robust protection to the eye's internal components and facilitating the diverse movements and attachments of the extraocular muscles. This structural design underscores the sclera's importance in maintaining the integrity and functionality of the eye. The sclera has various anatomical relations that are crucial for its function and the overall structure of the eye. It consists of two distinct surfaces, the external and internal, as well as well-defined anterior and posterior edges. Additionally, it features specialized apertures that facilitate the passage of vascular and nervous elements, essential for the eye's function. The external surface of the sclera is convex and smooth. It is the primary attachment site for the oculomotor muscles and their fascia, which are crucial for controlling eye movement. This surface is layered, starting from the deepest layer with the episclera, followed by tenon's capsule, and finally, anteriorly, it's covered by the bulba conjunctiva. Each of these layers has a specific role in protecting the eye and aiding its functionality. The internal surface of the sclera contrasts with the external surface, being concave and smooth. It exhibits a brown coloration and serves a protective role for the uveal tract, which includes the choroid, ciliary body, and the base of the iris. The strong adherence of the sclera to the choroid is critical for maintaining the eye's structural integrity. This bonding provides the necessary support for the internal components of the eye, ensuring they remain in the correct position and function effectively. The anterior edge of the sclera is characterized by the corneoscleral junction, commonly referred to as the limbus. This junction is a critical transition point between the sclera and the cornea. Notably, at the limbus, the sclera features a small groove. This anatomical feature is significant as it provides a stable and precise bed for the cornea, facilitating its proper placement and alignment with the rest of the eye. The posterior scleral foramen and the various scleral apertures are key features of the sclera, each contributing uniquely to the eye's anatomical structure and its overall function. The posterior scleral foramen, a small yet critical opening, is situated within the scleral canal of the optic nerve. This foramen primarily serves as a conduit for optic fibers, playing a pivotal role in the transmission of visual information. At the juncture where the optic nerve exits the eye, 
there is a remarkable integration of the sclera with the optic nerve's dural and arachnoid coverings. This smooth transition is essential not only for the structural coherence of the eye but also for the functional integrity of the optic nerve. Within this area, the formation of the sieve lamina marks an important internal transition. This sieve-like, glial fibrous structure is perforated with multiple holes, creating channels that allow the passage of optic fiber bundles. This specialized arrangement is crucial for the efficient and accurate relay of visual signals from the retina to the brain. The sclera features several apertures that are strategically placed to facilitate the passage of various structures, the apertures for the anterior ciliary arteries are essential for delivering blood to the anterior segment of the eye, ensuring the nourishment and health of structures like the cornea and iris. There is also an aperture for the exit of the four vortex veins. These veins play a significant role in the venous drainage of the eye. Additionally, the sclera contains apertures for the posterior ciliary arteries and nerves. These are vital for providing the posterior segment of the eye, including the retina and choroid, with necessary blood flow and nerve supply. In conclusion, the sclera stands as the outermost layer among the tunics of the eyeball, forming a critical component of the eye's anatomy. Composed of dense and resilient fibrous tissue, the sclera is designed to endure and provide structural integrity to the eye. It begins anteriorly at the limbus, the distinct junction where the cornea meets the sclera, and extends posteriorly to terminate at the optic nerve canal. The primary function of the sclera is twofold, it serves as a protective shield for the eye and is instrumental in maintaining the eyeball's shape. Its protective role is multifaceted, the sclera guards the intraocular components against physical trauma, excessive light exposure, and mechanical displacement. This is achieved through its ability to resist the considerable expansive forces exerted by intraocular pressure. As a result, the sclera plays a vital role in preserving the globe's shape, ensuring that the eye retains its form and structural integrity. Moreover, the sclera's robust composition and strategic placement of apertures for vascular and nervous elements facilitate the efficient functioning of the eye. By providing attachment points for the extraocular muscles, it also contributes to the dynamic aspect of vision, allowing for eye movement and focus adjustments.